Hello everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. Today's video is a two-parter. So up first, we have me going to London and trying out the bougie grocery stores slash supermarkets slash delis. I've seen a few on TikTok and actually I think I'm gonna have to do this in another vlog, another grocery store hopping situation because I've seen so many fun ones in London. So that's gonna be up next. But after that, we're gonna be trying Dunkin' Donuts for the first time. So let's get into it. <laughs> TikTok and I just keep seeing TikToks of people with ducks, pet ducks, and I want one so badly. Hi, she's really not okay. I don't, she looks like a loaf. Wrong, sweetheart. You're not yourself. I'm panicking. Oh, I am. I'm gonna lose my job. I just had my shower. Now I have to decide what to wear. It's really hard at the moment. London weather is not giving any cluesies. As to what to wear, I really don't know. Okay, and now we're just gonna get ourselves fully ready. I have been using the Olaplex bonding oil and it does make my hair soft, but I still don't know if it's worth it. Also, don't know whether to get my hair cut again or grow it out or what. What should we do today with the hair? Do we go for claw clip? We're gonna go for a little bit of Viva La Juicy. So I've moved Banksy from the table up here because I'm worried about her and I want her to be comfortable. Um, and she's fallen straight back asleep, which is very rare. If you move her, she normally like takes ages and she'll find somewhere else. But she's actually fallen asleep exactly where I've put her. So I'm a bit worried about her, my little baby. I've made it to the station. And I hate that sunglasses do that. So disrespectful. I'm here in the beautiful, beautiful London. It just makes me so happy. I literally am so happy to just walk everywhere because it's so nice. London in the sun is unmatched. I love walking by these gardens. You know, they're all like owned by the private terraces. Um, one day I'm going to bring it to life. I'm going to have be able to have access to those gardens. put money on it but I just saw someone called it Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. I used to love this program when I was a little probably you know. Right we're walking down this road and I'm beginning to wonder how influencers taking pictures on people's doorsteps. How do they not get embarrassed? I can't even flipping take a picture of a nice looking London house and feel mortified. I'm literally like pretend I never even took it but people have full on photo shoots on people's doorsteps. I don't know how they do it. I wish I had that confidence but I do not. Up first we went to this place called Bailey and Sage which I'd seen so much about. It kind of was more of like a grocery store slash a deli. It had fresh produce and it had some nice bits. It did also have some bits that you can just find in like normal supermarkets but it was still really nice um, but it was a lot smaller than it looks on TikTok although they have more than one location. I really wanted to go to this delicatessen but I couldn't remember where I found it so I couldn't go back to it. I also tried to go to Colette's but that's more of a place where you pick up a sort of sandwich or a salad. It isn't like a grocery store vibe. So onwards and upwards to the next location. I'm on the bus now and we're going to Fortnum and Mason because it's my old stomping ground. It's where I worked for a bit and I loved it there. If you have never been to Fortnum and Mason, I would honestly 10 out of 10 recommend it to everyone I know. I love it there. You walk in and it's got like this red carpet. It's so decadent and obviously it's very expensive. It's the Queen's Grocer. I think that's like what it's known for being. It has loads of fun teas, loads of biscuits. And one of my favorite sections is the jam and honey. It's like a library of honey. Honestly, they have honey in every flavor. They have chipotle honey. They have vanilla honey. They have so many different cool honeys. And then if you go downstairs, it's the cold produce and like meats and cheeses and wines and things like that. 
and it's so beautiful it's such a pleasant experience it's really luxurious if you've never been or if you're visiting London I highly recommend it it's a great stop especially at Christmas oh my gosh it's a different world at Christmas and look at all the chocolates see that that was a pleasant experience and now I think I'm gonna get some food and I think I might sit in Green Park I sat in Green Park and I grabbed myself a delicious bread sandwich was so good and then I stroll back through Green Park and past Buckingham Palace it felt like a proper British day out and then we went to the Victoria station and we went home y'all ready for this so let's start off with Bailey and Sage which I need to put in the fridge ASAP for Rocky grab and prawn tortellini. We all know I'm a bagel fanatic and I feel like England doesn't really do many bagels. Like doesn't do big bagels in bakeries and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Here you go. And they look really good. And I One of their margarita pizzas, which it says on it, Bailey and Sage products are handmade each day in small batches by our team of chefs. Um, and it is nice and thin. And I feel like that would get nice and crispy in the oven. Olives. Yeah, that's right. I bought these big bad boys. I, olives, crisp bread, three favorite food groups. I'm drooling. I'm actually, oh my gosh, I love olives. They're garlicky. Oh, they are good. Now we went to Fortnum Mason. Um, there are a few things that I know my family like from when I used to work there. And they used to, used to get a really good discount there actually. Um, number one, I never actually got around to trying. English cherry preserve. I think cherry jam and raspberry jam, or oh, I do like blueberry jam. I just quite like jam. Um, I then got for my sister some cheese straws. She's more of a savoury head than a sweet head. And then I also got her some Countess Grey tea bags because I don't think she's ever had a box because my mum's favourite tea in the whole of the land is Countess Grey. And she's worked out that she likes it in loose leaf now. Um, and you can only get it at Portland and Mason. It's like a fancy version of Earl Grey. I bought these marzipan fruits because they're the sort of thing that he would never ever buy for himself. And they do have like a counter with all the fancy ones on. And actually I got to trial working on that counter one day, which was really fun. And I kind of wish I asked to stay there, but I, my favorite was working on the chocolate counter. And I had this woman that came in all the time um, and would ask on a Friday evening for the violet chocolates. And we used to have a great natter. Honestly, I just like to look at the customers. I hated being on tills. You like have to get through the customers really quickly. But when I could be on the chocolate deck counter, it was a dream. Do you know what must happen before we get baking? Taxi bottoms, I have to be comfortable. And those jeans had been giving me a wedgie all day. I was just looking for Oreo white chocolate cookie recipe. Cause you know when you see something, I feel like I've seen it one time online and now I want it. Um, so I'm trying to find a recipe, but they're all in cup measurements, which is an issue for me because I hate it. Hate cup measurements because what's one cup to one person is different for another. Suppose we could check Jane, check Jane's patisserie. She normally comes through with the recipes, doesn't she? Jane's patisserie has an Oreo New York recipe. Sugar. Now we add in a little eggy boy. Flour. One baking powder, half teaspoon of bicarb. This is what it looks like for anyone that cares. Guys, it's time to check on my sweetheart. Like she's not on her bed. <gasps> what has happened to her? The only place that she would be. She's not on her chair. Look, you can see wherever she goes because she leaves remnants of her fur. I'm really worried about my sweetheart. I found her. Interesting choice of chair banks. You never sit on this one. Oh, you want cuddles? I was worried about you. Are you feeling better? Yeah, you're purring. Leggy leggy. Look at these, they are absolute beasts and dad are going for the crab and prawn tortellini and i've got the pizza oh it looks good can you see it's all bubbly yum pizza party friday night pizza party friday night what are we saying guys 
I'm hoping the dishwasher's really empty. Um, that piece was actually quite good. The edges were a bit too crispy, but the inside was good. And I put these olives, look. <laughs> They're basically all gone. They were, the olives were really good. Good morning, shawty. How are we? I am just about to make my baked oats. Hang on, let me get a banana. No! What the heck? We've run out of bananas. Someone's eaten the last banana. I knew there was one left. I bet it was Dad's. Okay, we're gonna have something else for brekkie, but I'm gonna have breakfast, and then we're gonna go into London. We're gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts. When I was in New York, my dad got us Dunkin' Donuts, these little like breakfast bap things, but I haven't actually ever tried a Dunkin' Donut donut, and I've never been to Dunkin' Donuts, and it turns out there's a Dunkin' Donuts in England. So I'm gonna try Dunkin' Donuts for the first time. And we've got the good. So I went into Dunkin' Donuts. It was a lot smaller than I anticipated. So up first we have the little donut holes. And then I went crazy. I thought, hey, you only experience your first time at Dunkin' Donuts once. I'm just intrigued how much will it compare to Krispy Kreme. I know some people call it Krispy Kreme, but to be honest, that just doesn't float. That doesn't float with me. A few of them looked a little touch dry. A touch dry, but it was well stocked, um, and there weren't as many as I thought. I feel like I've seen people in America try loads of different ones. Oh my gosh, I totally should have tried the Charlie D'Amelio TikTok drink, shouldn't I? Good idea, why didn't I do that? What an idiot. Well, I don't like coffee, so I wouldn't have liked it. Okay, here we go. This is the full array of everything that we have. We have so many different ones. They kind of knock off Tim bits, and apparently there's a Tim Hortons in England, and I need to try it. These are like little, the donut hole bits. So you see how here, I mean, yeah, nothing groundbreaking, nothing not groundbreaking. Just tastes like the inside of a donut. We've got the chocolate one as well. There were only two flavors of these, which I feel like in America, they um, have lots more flavors. This is a bit more cakey. This one is very bready, whereas this one's more cakey. I actually think I prefer this one, the chocolate one. It's got a good flavor. That's quite nice actually, the chocolate one. I can get behind that. The one I really wanna try, this one is a Boston cream. I've never had a Boston cream. Apparently they have like this cream thing in the middle, which we don't really have this flavor of donut in the UK. To be honest, the donut game in the UK is kind of shambolic. Um, I mean, you've got a jam donut and you've got a ring donut. I suppose those jam and ring donuts, they really do do bits. So actually you don't need to stress because they're pretty lush. We got a double whammy. Does it live up to the hype? <laughs> no, it does not. That's not that special, if I'm honest. It just tastes like every other donut. It's a rocky road one. I thought that was gonna be marshmallow. This is a chocolate thing. Mmm, mmm. The middle does taste like rocky road. It's really sweet. Oh, that is really good. Uh, okay. You know what, we've got one nil, okay? I don't know what it's competing against, but one has won something. The white chocolate. I think this is white chocolate glaze. Oh, that's disappointing. Do you see that? It looks very, very dry, and the inside, there's not much filling happening. There is actually more white chocolate in there than I thought. Okay, let's go. I really don't like that one. That one. There's something about certain white chocolate flavored things that remind me a little bit medicine that I used to have as a kid and I can't put my finger on what it is. That just tastes a bit like vomit. Still one nil. Or should it be two nil? Cause I won. This one I think is Biscoff, which looks good. This one looks aesthetically pleasing. It's got a nice level of shine. It's got a bit of sheen. We've got some crumbs. We've got some flakes. Oh no, what's that in the middle? That is not Biscoff. That looks like an apple jam. Can you see that? It's not bad, but it's not good. Up next we have this one, which is creme brulee, which kind of looks like the Biscoff one. Sorry, but that Biscoff filling, that's not Biscoff. That did not taste of Biscoff at all. If I buy a Biscoff, I want to feel the labor of love. I want to feel that Biscoff in the middle. Wow, this creme brulee could pull through actually. I like that one. I'm not even a custard girl, but that is a good amount of filling, good ratio of donut, soft, plump. Yeah, I like that one. It resembles a creme brulee. I don't like it when someone calls something that it's not. 
That Biscoff is not Biscoff. The creme brulee actually resembles creme brulee because it does have a crispy, crunchy sugar layer on top. So kind of good. Here we have this one, which I don't know what flavor it is. Coffee. Ah, that's pleasant. I don't like coffee, but I really think that coffee lovers would like it. I'll give it to them. Taste of coffee, resembles coffee. Good, soft, pillowy donut. That one's actually quite good. Okay, so we got this one, which I'm dubious about. This one is a cake donut, which I feel like if you're a donut shop, is it wise to go down cake alley? Hmm. Mm -mm. Mm. It's no donut. It's definitely a cake. I feel like it, again, it does what it says on the tin. I don't like being misled. It's like if you're on a dating app, and someone you meet says they love books, you're gonna expect them to know that what they're talking about when they come to books. This is the strawberry donut. Let's give the strawberry a whirl. Um, so here we have the strawberry donut. It does smell very strong of strawberry, so I'll give them that. They could be winning right here. Oh, we haven't even counted. Wait, one nil with the Rocky Road, two nil with the cranberry day, cranberry day, three nil with the coffee. I'm not gonna give the cake donut a point because I don't think it deserves it. It hasn't earned my respect, if I'm honest. So let's see if we can take up to four nil. Okay, the strawberry one is pretty good. It does have a strong strawberry taste, more so than a strawberry jam donut you get in the UK. Pungent, actually. You get a lot of strawberry hit in there. So I'll give it to them. I actually do just like a classic chocolate sprinkles. You look like a sprinkles guy. It does taste like a normal donut you'd get in Sainsbury's. It's again a strawberry pink ice, very much classic donut vibes. It's very strawberry y. They've got their strawberry flavour down. I have to commend them where commending is due. It does what it says on the tin. So I'm going to give them an extra point for that because it is just a strawberry donut classic. I think this was like a chocolate dream cake or something. It's got chocolate filling in the middle. I love chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. That is my favourite one. The chocolate filling is rich. It's umptuous. That is naughty. If you want a donut, you're gonna go the whole hog, aren't you? And this is the last one. The reason I say this is because blue's my favorite color and I just feel like I love the look of this. I don't know why, uh, but, well, because it's blue, that's why I like it. And if I'm honest, I don't even know the flavor. I feel like it looks like a cartoon donut. When I think of like a donut, this is what I think of. So let's see. What's happening here? It just tastes like a nice donut. I suppose that's what you expect when you go to Dunkin' Donuts. They are donuts, and they're good donuts, but they're not anything better than I've had before, if I'm honest. I've just got to be honest. That's the whole point of this. I'm honest with my food reviews, okay? I suppose you could say scathing at times. The elite tier is this chocolate one, and the worst one is the Biscoff one, because there was no Biscoff in that.